Hey, you guys. So I'm here with um, Arthur and Rambo. No, Bella, please. You guys remember following Arthur who had real bad separation anxiety and that's his housemate, Rambo, his brother. We call them the, well, I call them the brothers. Um, so we've got his, his owner here and everybody asks me these really common questions. So real quick, I wanted you to hear it from somebody else other than me, the one who's, who's always preaching. So Kevin, your dogs are, well, this one had the separation anxiety real bad. We were just talking about it. How, like I would work other dogs and he would hear that that yes you know marker word and go nuts for the food and like the couch addiction and all this other stuff your dogs got an e-collar yeah did your dogs come out of here worse or like lose their personality do you feel like these dogs uh, are worse or better oh they're a lot better it's night and day honestly i think uh like we barely it's gotten to the point where we barely need even the e-collars are on but we barely need to use them yep They've just been conditioned to, you know, to the behavior that they know they're not supposed to do. And if anything, I'm closer to them than I was before I brought them to get trained with the e-callers because they, their behavior was always, they were always doing something wrong or something upsetting. So I was always upset and it was just caused tension between us. But now that's not the case anymore. So I get to enjoy them a lot more. We get, I don't know, it's just a lot, uh, quality times a lot better now that they're so, uh, you know, they just know what I expect of them. And the e-collar is barely, uh, it's just on them so that they know they have it on, I guess. But we barely ever use yep. it. And they're not, like, the anxiety is gone practically. And they're a lot better. There's no there's no denying that. And they're just as happy, if they're not happier than they used to be. They're just, they're not stressed out. They don't bark like they used to. They don't freak out when we leave the house. They're just, uh, they're gone. They're completely different dogs. They're, they're just so much better. It's, it's a really, it's a really big difference. You, you know that, uh, well, one, you know, it's just a tool that I use in the mm -hmm. training. It's very much the holistic because you can put this on any dog with any issue and it's not going to resolve the problem. Mm -hmm. But the real magic I told you last time happened when you took them home. Because uh, I remember telling you, if he like loses his mind, it's going to be real hard to board him because he had it real bad. Yeah. Like you could hear it outside of the house, right. down the street. He would have to be separated. Now I work dogs. And, and they're getting fed and he's not losing his marbles. Yeah. He doesn't whine. He doesn't scream. You don't hear a peep from him. Yeah, the best um, thing. And even when we take Rambo out by himself sometimes, the Arthur doesn't do anything. Exactly. He's fine. And it used to be, if you took one out, like if, if Rambo, yep. e and even Rambo and Arthur, same thing. Like you, one of them was in the, out of the other one's sight, it would be chaos. But now that's not an issue at all anymore either. Yep. And what are you doing at home? What is it that you are doing? Because I felt... I felt like he still had a level of it, and I and I warned of some regression when I took him back home. We discussed the the couch addiction that they had mm -hmm. and ch and changes. So whenever you traveled and whenever you had like changes going on in your life that you do frequently, you know, being the person that you are, um, how do you how are you guys handling this now? What is it that you're doing that this stuck? Because I think the biggest thing <laughs> I didn't do anything. You so guys we don't did let it. them on the couch whenever they want anymore. Uh huh. But do you allow couch, permission? What's that? Do you allow permission occasionally? Yeah, that, that's it. But also, yeah. yeah, we do. But also the thing is when they were on, when they were roam free on the couch and they could go on the couch whenever they want, they would always be stuck to each other. So I think that exercise, like it made the anxiety worse if they weren't with each other because they're always used to being stuck to, glued to one another. Yeah. But now uh, whenever we let them roam free, we put them even sometimes we put them on the leash, but let them, you know, walk around the house, but they're still on the leash. They, they can be, they have access to each other if they want to, but they don't have to be next to each other. And often I find like they actually don't, they prefer kind of being away from each other and give each other space. And then in the kennels, their kennels are right next to each other, but they're in separate kennels. And I just think that's helped a lot with uh, them not depending on the other one so much. You said it right there, the dependency. Yeah. It's like an addiction. Right. So that now they know how to be alone. That's it. Now they know how to be together and apart. So if they're mm -hmm. here and you're there, they're not losing their marbles. Right. That is such a big deal for them. It's yeah. such a big deal for them to even be down here with people moving in and out, people leaving, and them not seeing a peep, mm -hmm. not one peep. Because I would tell you, I'd report it. <laughs> yeah. So Rambo would break, you know, break place, and he's not the most uh, uh, obedient fellow. But right. they, the the anxiety is what 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 the rehab portion was, was about and was oh, more yeah. important than anything else. Absolutely. And he was feeding off of uh, Arthur than he was. Well, I appreciate you guys even talking to people because That's they no really problem. do think that 
uh, these tools make dogs worse, but it's no. not about the tools, how you use them. And look, I'm not even the only one. There's, I have a friend of mine who lives in Tampa at the at get in, his dog e collar trained because he's so aggressive towards other dogs. Yeah. He said the same thing the e collar changed everything. The dog's still have, like, same dog, happy, good, but he doesn't, you know, the, the aggressivity is solved, and now they can go on walks with him. So yeah. the e collars aren't uh, something that, uh, you know, the damages the dog at all, from what I can yeah. tell, from what a, my friend can tell, and, you know, you, you preach by them, so I think that's, uh, obviously, it's, some, it's a tool that, that can help a lot. Very helpful in the program. Mm -hmm. Very helpful. All right, you guys. Appreciate it, Kevin.